Hello, my dearest confidant. So I do have some notes here, so I will be looking at those throughout the course of this video. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about mugwort. Mugwort is in the daisy family. So if you have a daisy allergy, maybe don't use mugwort. But um, mugwort is safe to consume um, in a tea. Uh, you can use it in um, your smudging ceremonies, which it has a very, very scent, a light scent. It's lighter than sage to burn, and it reminds me almost of mint. It's very uh, fresh and clean, but also gentle. Um, and uh, mugwort is very good for your body in a number of different other ways. And so to start off with scent, because, you know, your sense of smell is your one of your most important senses that you have. Um to burn mugwort in a smudging ceremony is um, can be uplifting it can also be relaxing um, but it just it's a different herb that you can use in your smudging practice um, and for different reasons right you can just use it to to cleanse your home to make it smell better uh, nicer and fresher and clean um, or you could use it for its actual benefits and um, a mugwort can't be used internally for people that have kidney stones, hernias, ulcers. Um, uh, it is possibly negatively uh, in, for use, contraindicated for use in people that are pregnant. And so use some caution there if you are pregnant or think you're pregnant. Um, but again, it's also part of the daisy family. So make sure that you are not allergic to things in the daisy family before you consume it or burn it. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, gallbladder disease is another one of those. Okay, so mugwort can be used as an antidepressant. It has nervine quality, so it will help heal you psychologically um, or it can help with physical trauma as well. Um, it is an anti-rheumatic, which means that it can help with pain from rheumatoid arthritis types of conditions or th those types of pains. It could be helpful for lupus or something like that as well. Um, it's also as antispasmodic, so it can help to relax muscles and um, help you feel a sense of um, uh, soothing in your muscles. Um, it can also be used, it has bitter properties, so if you consume it, it can be used to help stimulate your appetite. It can be used to help uh, increase digestive juices, but again, if you have ulcers or, or something like that, maybe not use it until after that stuff is healed, um, especially if you have an acute infection like gastritis, don't use that because it could irritate it. Um, it also is helpful as a liver detox and it helps to release pancreatic hormones and um, it can repair gut wall damage if it is used after an illness of the stomach. So like you got rid of your ulcer and you're trying to think of something holistically to help heal that damage that's done. It can be helpful for uh, conditions such as irritable bowel disease and things like that. Um, and again, uh, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but, you know, consult your doctor before you use any of this stuff. I am not a medical doctor. I am giving helpful advice and it is not, not, um, a doctorate <laughs> level, uh, help. However, I do have this book that I got most of the information from just to double check my source and make sure that I was saying the right things. Um, I got this when I was taking my classes at the American College of Healthcare Sciences, but I'm pretty sure since it has an ISBN, you can find it on Amazon or Google Books or Kindle or any of those things. Um, uh, this can also help, mugwort can also help with regulating your menstrual cycle if it helps to uh, encourage flow, which is why it could be contraindicated in pregnancy. You wouldn't want to bleed while you're pregnant. Um, and it also can help with sleep if that if it's burned or consumed before bed. So um, I was kind of all over the place with this one. This was my first uh, herbalism video. So forgive me if it's not perfect. However, the information is there and you can refer to this video whenever you need to. Mugwort is a very light and cleansing scent. It is uplifting. It has antidepressant properties, can help you sleep, can help your muscles relax. It can help heal gut issues, um, but it is contraindicated in pregnancy because it also does help with regulation of periods. So that is the short and condensed version in this whole video. <laughs> but definitely consider adding mugwort to your saging, your smudging routine if you do that. I love you, my dearest confidant. Until next time.